AFTV, DT, time to get into the player ratings. We are through to the next round of the mm. FA Cup. Our cup. Our, our cup. cup. Our, our cup. Our thing. <laughs> right? Even through the Emirates Cup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. White, White Yardy described it. He said it's called FA stands for Arsenal. Right, that's what you said. Mm. FA means for Arsenal, right? So yeah. let's hope we can have a good run in it. But it, it, listen, it was a bit sticky for quite a long time. Um, in a, um, and they could have they could have nicked it. I mean, it would have been a travesty, like you said in your mm. in your fan camera. They could have nicked it at the mm. end. They but... could have done. Jesus Christ, that would have been. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I mean, they like robbery, but they nearly they nearly did nick it. Let's get into yeah. the player ratings. In goal, Leno. We was all happy when he was in yeah. instead of a uh, Runison. Yeah, and um, you know, um, <laughs> I think <laughs> I think um, it's a good job that he was in. Yeah, he gets an eight just for that save right at the end. It was exceptional, and he kept us in the tie for the other eighty nine minutes of the game. Or if you want to even include extra time, one hundred and nineteen minutes, he had to do nothing. Yeah, no. But for that save, eight all day. That save okay. is you know. All right, David Luiz. Um, I didn't rate the performance, to be honest. There were too many of these long balls that he's trying, and they just did not hit the target at all. It's just easy giving over possession. That's all it is. You're just turning over possession constantly. Defensively, though, Dealing with the aerial stuff because, you know, there are lots of stuff pumped into Andy Carroll. And, that. and we've seen over the years mm -hmm. that we've had lots of problems with that. Andy Carroll's always been a thorn in our side. I thought he dealt with that side of things pretty well. I thought it was more Pablo Mari that had done really well. Oh, the, I thought the two of them, the two of them combined. Yeah, the aerially and sort of that physical right. battle, they didn't lose that, did they? No, they, they didn't get bullied. Right. They done all, no, they didn't get bullied. They done all right together, but David Luiz was not better than Mary, in my opinion. And I just feel that the continuation of these long balls that just were not going to anybody. Okay, I, can't so remember, I can't remember him having a long ball that actually found its man. So they dealt with that aerial threat. I'll give him a seven for that. I yeah, thought he dealt with the aerial threat. All right. What What about Pablo Mary? In again, looking very consistent at the moment. Yeah, he is looking very consistent. I felt that there were a couple of ropey passes with his right foot, um, which worried me a bit. And I think that answers your question about playing him on the right-hand side of centre-back. No, because he mm. clearly had a right foot. But I felt he was commanding. I felt he was composed. I thought the performance all round was decent. Um, I'd probably give him a seven as well, but say that he was better than Louise mm. in that sense. He was better, but same score. By the way, kind of significant that um, Mustafi... Normally he'd be used for these type of games, not even in the yeah. weren't even in the squad. Um yeah, bye. Cedric. Um didn't really rate the performance. I don't think he really did a lot, didn't offer a lot. Just, I think it's just a, what's the word? Basic. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Average. It was average, yeah. right? Yeah. Didn't do really much wrong. Mm -hmm. didn't really when you look at what Kieran Tierney on the other side what he was doing in comparison to Cedric there was he he he, he didn't do anything really did he I mean no um I'll give him a six yeah um let's get to Tierney Kieran Tierney on the other side um assist for the second goal um I would say that he was my man of the match, to be honest. I know that they gave it to ML Smith-Rowe on the telly, but for me, mm. he was my man of the match. I felt he was exceptional. He was the uh, threat, wasn't he? Constantly through, yeah. through, of all the guys who started the game, he was a constant threat throughout. Yeah, he put those two balls back in the first half where I was constantly saying, why are you not going down the left-hand side? Because he had their, their right back all over the place. He gets a nine. I just think his energy, his work rate, everything. He's the next Arsenal captain for me. Hmm. Genuinely, oh, no. he's the next oh, no, Arsenal really. captain. I think that when Aubameyang's time's done and he moves on or leaves or retires or whatever it might be, Kieran Tierney's next in line for me. Mm, he's been exceptional. Yeah. Um, Willock. Poor. Poor, 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 poor. 
And I I'm not he have scored. I thought he had a head he should have scored from. Yeah, I'm I'm not listening to this excuse that he's you know doesn't get much game time. He's always playing in the Europa League. He's always in and out of the squad. Um, it just wasn't good enough. I felt just everything was poor today. He gets a four. It was really poor today. Okay, Mohamed El Nini. Just average standard. You know, the stat comes up at half time, 100% pass rate. Yeah, that's fine. I'd have a 100% pass rate if my passing was two yards. <laughs> I thought he weren't too bad. Nah, just it's, it's, uh, look, unless you're putting him next to a Thomas Party, it's just. He's a he, different, he, he, his job you know today was. He, what's the his word? Job today he, was like, midfielder, isn't it? So, you know. He, what, what's the word for him today? It's just that he's like. I don't know, man. It's just it's it's like painting a fence. Yeah, unspectacular, but he done he done what he's supposed to do today, didn't he? Defensive yeah, midfielder. Yeah, well, it's just they just there's no energy there. There's no drive. There's nothing. Do you know what I mean? How many times do you remember in the first half when we were screaming at him to put that ball into Tierney? Yeah, and he just stops. Goes back the other way, and you're just sitting there banging your head against the wall like he's safe, on, right? he's safety first, any a lot of times, mate. I, 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 I must admit, though, I thought he had a decent game. I really did. I, well, it's, it, it's, it's his job weren't really to be making all the splitting passes. I think that was more Willock. Yeah, I think the passes, he, he was, are there. the passes are there. Yeah, like, yeah, I know on that occasion, you're right, safe. and I was frustrated. But he, everything's safe. Everything's yeah. safe. If we got sponsored by Durex, he'd be buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's like, come on, man! It's just no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you, you going to give him? I'll give him a seven, man. I'll be generous today. Okay, um, Pepe. <laughs> um, do you know what? There were some good moments, but they're more bad moments than anything. Flashes, I felt it's, again, it's just always yeah. flashes, isn't it? That's the problem. Little flashes, little glimpses, little moments, but not enough. Five. Um, William. <laughs> oh, you know what? I don't think he was the worst player on the pitch. I'm going to be real about it. But mm. like I was saying earlier on in my fan cam, you saw how poor he actually was when somebody came on in his position. And it was a kid that came in and showed him up. You know, if you were to sit there and watch William's performance and Smith Rowe's performance, and ask somebody that doesn't know them which one's on the highest wage, they would all say mm. Smith Rowe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So um, probably the same as Joe Willock, I'd say, probably about four. And he's lucky at that. He's, I'm not going to be okay. too hard. Reese Nelson, who was a late, mm. late uh, start-up for Martinelli getting injured. Didn't take his opportunity. Had a big chance in the first half. Why are you taking a touch? And this mm. is the problem, flat as to deceive. And it just wasn't a great performance. And, yeah, I'll probably put him... I, you know what? He, I thought he did some good things in the first half as well. In the opening five minutes or so, he had that first shot and he looked mm. lively and energetic. But then there was that ball from Pepe that was put into him. And, yeah, you know what, as well? Can I just say as well, I thought some of the crossing from Pepe today was really good. Mm. That's one thing I will give him credit for. His crossing was really good today. Because mm. um, it was him that put the cross for Joe Willock. It was him that put the cross... Uh, for mm -hmm. Reese Nelson when he didn't take a touch on it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'll probably say a five as well. Okay. Um, Aubameyang? Uh, got his goal. Worked hard. I thought he did. He, look, listen, at the end of the day, with the chances we were not creating, what do you want him to do? Let's be real mm -hmm. about it. What, what do people want him to actually do? I don't know what more you can say. I can't question his work rate right? because I did see him work. I think people are just picking at things for the fun of it now. Oh, he doesn't look right. He's not running. He is running. He is working, but he's a goal scorer and he wants to be in and around the box and he wasn't playing out wide today. He was playing central. And what he wants is the opportunity like what he scored from. Mm. That's what Aubameyang thrives on. And um, he had a couple of decent efforts during the game. Um, felt we should have had a penalty as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say a seven. I don't think it was a bad performance at all. And it was great. Okay. So glad we got on the score sheet. Yep. Um, Emil Smith Rowe, who came on. We're going into the subs now. Yep. Um, I felt he was one of the ones that, yeah, he was one of the ones that changed the game. Um, 
a, sc- a, a midfielder that scores goals. Mate, wow. <laughs> Mate, brilliant. And creates them. Um, I'll probably give him the same as Tierney, to be honest, a nine. But Tierney, given he played the whole <laughs> game, I thought he was that good all the way through is why he was my man of the match. But Smith Rowe gets a nine as well. Okay, Saka. Um, not as... Um, what's the word? Like key in 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 his involvement and in it's winning the game in terms of the goal. Yeah, goal though. yeah, yeah. But what I mean is, he's like he weren't the one who scored, hmm. but he had a couple of really good efforts. He brought energy. He brought that enthusiasm and that drive that we were missing. And hmm. um, I'll give him an eight. Okay. Um, Lacazette. Sure. Lacazette came on and and again he had an impact. Had an impact. I, do you know he's only on there for ten minutes or so? But I, fifteen enough. was, it, but it was enough. I will give him a seven. But he yeah. he got the the head on to Emil Smith Rowe. Yeah. Apart from that, he didn't have a lot to do. And Granite Xhaka again, another guy who came on had an impact. Steadied yeah, it up in that midfield, didn't he? Steadied it up. Um, Willett was giving the ball away a lot, losing a lot of battles there. Yeah. Um, he comes in. He just sort of. Just sort of steadied things there, didn't he? Yeah, and, yeah. and he was getting, he was, his passes were going forward as well. Yeah, uh, look, at the end of the day, right? Since he's come back from suspension, he's been really good. Let's be real about it. All right, is he the answer? No, but as he playing well, yes, give the man credit when you know it's due. He gets yeah. an eight. I thought he was really good. And that pass he put on for Tierney for the second goal, yeah, you sure. know, if Mr. Urza was on the pitch. If Mesut Ozil was on the pitch and made that kind of pass, everyone would be claiming pre-assist. Pre-assist. <laughs> it's true. Um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles went on long enough. He's, nah, he's, 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 he's five. He's only momentarily. Um, the referee. Um, I'm not even going to give him credit for turning around the Smith Rowe thing because it wasn't him. It was VAR. Well... It, he's no, turned no, it around. It, he it, could it, still have turned around and said, "No, I'm going my decision." But no, I think yeah, but I yeah, felt, it was a sensible decision, weren't it? Well, at the end of the day, when you're when you look at the tackle in the first few minutes, um, on Reese Nelson, that mm. was worse than that. But it looked like he couldn't wait to get his red card out, and it looked like he didn't really have a definitive, you know, idea that it was as bad as what he thought. He just heard the scream. And went, yeah, 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 that, that dude, red card, mm. bye-bye. And it was, you know, I'll, I'll give player, VAR. These players screaming. Ah! Yeah, it's an absolute joke. I'd rather give VAR the credit for that because they were the ones that told him to go over. But then on the flip side of that, VAR didn't notice the penalty. Mm. So swings and roundabouts. But, yeah, five. Okay, and... Uh, manager? Manager, Mik- Mikel Arteta, another win? Another win. Um, I'll give him an eight. Because he went with a, a different team, um, was forced into working out, and yeah. he got the subs right. He got the subs right. Um, you've got to give him credit for that. He had to make an, uh, a force change before kickoff, which is not ideal. Um, he never bowed to pressure of, you know, bringing Partey and Gabriel straight back. He's obviously looking further mm. afield, which is the Premier League. Um, and you know what? You know what, DT, right? You've got to give him credit for having a strong bench because yeah. that strong bench is what's won us yeah. the game. Yeah, it is. It is. It's at the end of the day, if we were at a bench like we've had in some of the Europa League games, then we probably wouldn't have won that or it would have gone to penalties. Um, so, like you said, he made good substitutions, right times, right moments. Got to give him credit. My manager. What are you giving him? Eight. My manager. My manager, <laughs> your manager now. Tonight, cheese board box tonight. <laughs> what I mean, get you them rat it. traps, get them rat traps out the way. Get out of here. Do you know what I mean? Behave yourself, as you say on that hat. Right. Listen. Thanks a lot, man. Respect. We're through to the next round. Let's see who we get. Let, hopefully, we get an easy draw in the next one. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably end up with Tottenham or something. All right. Yeah, thanks. but we'll them tomorrow, aren't they? Yeah, DT, thanks a lot, mate. And uh, yeah, we're, we're through to the next round. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.